hi guys blessed good morning to you blessed good morning to you this morning this morning i bring greetings to you i bring blessing from the most high god to you all i pray this morning or this evening whenever time you are watching this video that the good lord will protect you and protect your family I pray that your basket never run empty or dry in this time that we're going through. I pray from the four corners of this earth that God will protect both you and your family. I pray good health, long life, and strength. I pray that God, angel, will encamp around you and your family. I pray blessing upon your people, your family, and your friends. May the good Lord continue to keep on God and protect you. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Now this morning, I'm going to start off this morning my vlog. I have something I want to share with you guys. Right now, let's show you I'm going to start off my vlog this morning. And I just want to say thank you to all my supporter. Thank you for my new subscriber. Just for touching the button, I give you thanks because guess what? You didn't have to do it, but you take the time to do it. And you take the time to tell a friend. And you tell a friend to tell a friend. And the time you take to watch it, I want to say gratitude. Thank you. From the depths of my heart. So let's just show you what I have planned for us today. Because it's for me and for you too. So I bring it to you. Okay guys. Guys this is a cinnamon leaf. Uh huh. Yeah cinnamon leaf and some ginger. I just got to put to boil this morning. Yeah I just got to put it to boil. This is what I'm going to be drinking this morning. You know, guys, I always used to be drinking my stuff, but it's even worse. I now have to drink my ginger and my lemon and my cinnamon and my garlic and my turmeric even more. And don't forget, guys. Don't forget to do a little steaming, you know. You boil it. The lemon and you boil up your, your herbs and stuff. I go and give you a video how to do it. And you steam. Put down your face over it and steam at least two or three times a day. Um, to clear your nostril and you know. Everything. But I'm going to show you. But here I have something to show you guys. This is a vegetarian meal. Now here. I just cut it in. Here, closer look. The name is Free Chick Original, and it's a vegetarian meal. And I just decided I want to try, it, guys. And I want to, it's just a review to show you to see what it's all about. And I'm a type of person, I'm going to give you my full view if it's awful. I'm going to say it's awful. And if it tastes good, I thought it was more small inside, but we have five inside. That's the gravy out of it. Let me taste the gravy. Just this one. That is still a little chewed. The gravy don't taste bad, you know. Mm -mm. Don't taste bad. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how I prepare it and then I'm going to so I have a, a barbecue sauce there I have my garlic my onion I have my sweet pepper and I'm going to use a little rosemary now the taste of it is kind of it's not fresh it's like a salty taste not salt salt you know but you know it's all right when I taste just touch it and taste the gravy of it so I'm going to try it 
um because i'm trying the healthy way i do eat different different stuff but i'm trying you know to change about my heating habit as i said before and i done it already and it worked and it's still working it's still working for me and the reason why i really want to try it guys is like this the, the thing about it is like you can have a view you could try it if you wish the calories is only 140 that is if you share between two person and the transfer is zero the cholesterol zero the sugar zero and the protein is 12 gram the potassium is just two percent and you know guys if you're a diabetic you have to watch your potassium you have to watch that you must watch your potassium because this can be that that mental if you having too much as a diabetic worse if you are if you have kidney problem so you have to be careful um even eating banana um jackfruit certain type of food you have to watch that you eat and as i said when i said something it's not like i'm just bringing it across i always make sure there i try it or they prove that i know that it affects because I know my sister was a diabetic and it have hurt her because her pot potassium went up and it cost her life. Um, my sister died last year, December. Last year, January. It still touched the core of my heart when I remember. But God knows everything best, so... I'm saying that to say this, we have to be careful of what we put in our body. Um, we have to be, some of us, like myself, um, my metabolism doesn't work as well as some people who, you know, they will just drop the weight as you clip your finger like that. For me, it doesn't like that. I have to work hard in order for it to go. So I'm still grateful and giving God thanks. But as I said, let's just do our best at whatever we eat or drink. This is just something I drink, like I just pour it in my water. Instead of drinking the drinks, you just, you know, you just pour it in and you shake it up in a bottle and you drink that and that's good to go. And it's, it's good. And the taste is not bad, you know, some of them taste awful, you know, this one is not bad, I must say. So guys, I'm going to show you, I'm going to prepare this vegetarian fried chick original. And most Seventh-day Adventists, um, these are stuff that they will eat. And sometimes, they not taste bad, because I remember a um, couple of years back, I eat something from the... the some of the Adventists and it tastes like beef. It really tastes good. It was a very vegetarian um meal and it tastes good. Yeah, I will try it again. So I do try other stuff sometimes. Sometimes I'm you know you don't just stick to one thing like you you try and whatever works for you. Um if you feel like you're not comfortable in trying something else then that's okay. But um, sometimes you will be surprised because sometimes we just look at something and say, oh, I will never eat that. Oh, I will never drink that. But to be honest, we never taste it, you know. And when we do, we realize that it's really tasty or tastes good. And, but some of them taste awful, disgusting. I'm not going to lie. Um, I try the tofu sometimes. I do the, the veggie chunk. Well, some of the veggie chunk don't taste good. I don't tell them it's like the smell alone is disgusting for me i'm sorry i'm not trying to bring down nothing that anyone eat but some not all they have different different type so as i go along my journey i'll be sharing with you i'll be bringing different stuff to you so 
Stay tuned as I show you how I prepare, prepare it. So I'm going to cut them. So my olive oil is in the pot, getting heated. Just wash off. I'm just cleaning them up. So, remember guys, this is what we are trying now. This is what I'm preparing. It is a free chick original vegetarian. So now that the hide is heated, I'm just going to place them in the pot.
Um, you could also put it in the baker and just let it bake. But just a little olive oil. I'm just turning them around. Not very easily. So now, guys, I pour in the onion, the garlic, the sweet pepper. Fine. Not really, just a little tip of oil in it, so you can't even see the oil. You don't want it to be greasy. But you know, it's a review. And I've got to give you my honest opinion. So now, if you use barbecue to bring up the taste of anything, and the taste don't up, then trust me, something wrong. So, I'm going to use a little... use but a little of the gravy from it because I'm going to steam down some broccoli in it yeah. Guys, it's looking good so far, and it's not falling apart, and the texture is firm. It would look like a, a patty, you know, those burger patty. It's firm. Then I sprinkle a little black pepper. Put some broccoli. I you know broccoli don't take much time. I don't want your broccoli to be soggy. So I think you could try it with whatever vegetable, like some carrot and mixed vegetable and whatever work for you. But I try this sauce and just see how it tastes, guys. Mm hmm Yeah. The sauce going. Come on. And guess what guys I have my spinach drop so I'm going to heat up my spinach drop with the spinach drop here I have two left in the back I had this from the other day uh -huh. it's my spinach drop so feel free to try I'm going to heat up this spinach drop guys No Normally, you could just rest this. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to get a pot, put a little tip of garlic butter, and just rest it down. And 
when I say just grease the pot or I could use some of the um the spray here the butter stick spray and then I just rest it there and then voila so guys here you have it it's all finished I know I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna taste it for you I want you to see my face when I'm tasting it because if it's wanting uh -huh, and it don't taste properly I guess you will see the impression on my face so let's go guys bad at all. I just need some pepper. Mm-hmm. I'm eating another piece so you must know. Yes guys it passed. Mm-hmm. Need a broccoli. And then you have your spinach wrap. So guys, mm-hmm. And this would be my lunch today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Guys, it pause. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes guys, it's gonna go. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. It passed. It tastes like a, a burger. Um, and if you put a little more like pepper to it, and uh, what I would do next time, because I use a lot of garlic, I would use like some complete, like a complete season to it, and um, a little um, maggie. To bring up the taste but I don't want it to be salt because the sauce already having a little salt so what you could do is even maybe put the sauce aside just use a little of it and then you could um bring up your own flavor your own taste maybe you want to steam it down in some ketchup but it passed guys mm -hmm. so you could try it guys it seem to be healthy a very vegetarian dish and I'll give it a thumbs up so guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and to leave a comment if you have tried this before hit the notification button whenever time I post a video will always be notified and remember guys I love it from the depths of my heart and I can't do this without you I need your support so continue to support me and I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Gratitude is a must I give you all you. So, blessing upon your family, blessing upon you as I bring my kitchen to yours, to your home. Um, I'm just going to pour this into some water and shake it up. And I'm going to finish have. Mm -hmm. my lunch. It's work, guys. So, all the best. Continue to be safe, continue to sanitize your hands, continue to wear a mask, keep out of large gathering. Love you, my beautiful people, and remember, love over it every time. Mwah.